Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, I desire for you to be consistent in your faith with me each and every day. For the testing will come to you during these trying times, even within your thoughts and the temptations, and mostly when you're all alone. Yes, it is at these times that you must learn to stand firm in me and my word to combat the enemy. Learn to sing my songs of deliverance to help lift those attacks away from you. For as you do so, I will send my warrior angels to assist you in the warfare to defeat the enemy, my child. I have not called you to be as quiet as a mouse. Rather, I have called you to be as bold as lions within this last hours, my child. Yes, the time's uncertain, but I have called you this day to pray in the spirit, my child, for the heavens suffer in violence. So then I am calling you to learn to fight your fear with words of faith. And when you are troubled, run to me, your strong tower. And yes, I will save you always. Therefore, stay under the wings of my protection and do not fear what man Do not fear what the devil, do not fear what war or plagues or rumors of wars can do to you. For when I am fighting on your behalf, who can stand against you? Nobody. So be at peace knowing that I am with you, that I am for you, my child. Know that I am bigger than every trial that you may face even this day. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. And today we'll read from 1 John chapter 2, verses 26 to 27. It says, I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you received from the Holy One remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as His anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not a counterfeit, just as it is, it has taught you, remain in Him. Somebody say, Amen. The Holy Spirit that lives in inside of each of us. The Holy Spirit who leads us, who guides us, who teaches us, who comes to comfort us in times of need. No matter what you're passing through today, the Holy Spirit was sent to assist you precious saints. Despite of the attacks of the enemy, despite of what is coming against you, the Lord is still sovereign over those attacks, even the uncertainties in the world that are happening around us. Jesus is still in control. Yes, we live in a world with uh, there are more than more than one competing voices. Many of them are deceptive. We are living in deceptive times, precious saints, but we've got to cling to the Lord. And how do we filter these voices that may whisper, that may speak to us and know the truth of what the Holy Spirit is really saying? We know that the truth is in Jesus because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the light. And the Holy Spirit who has been promised to us will always bring to our remembrance the things that we are taught through the word of God precious saints we know that the truth because of the Holy Spirit who is the anointing that we have received it teaches us the truth about Jesus the Spirit is the very presence of God that he poured out into our hearts and when we come to Jesus in faith the spirit teaches us to build a home in our hearts for the truth of who Jesus 
Christ is precious saints. We are living in deceptive times. We are living in deceptive times. And Jesus even warned us, be not deceived. But we know that the Holy Spirit was a gift given to us to be able to expose all the lies. See, Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit, whom he called the comforter or the counselor or the advocate, depending on how we, we see him today, would come and would lead us into all truth. As according to John 16 verse 13, precious saints. We also see according to 2 Timothy 3.16, it says all scripture is given by inspiration, by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Spirit who inspired this passage of the Scriptures is alive in us when we allow God's Word to go deeper down inside of us. We know that all Scripture is given for the inspiration of God, the Holy Spirit that brings it to the surface, that brings all the treasure, the hidden treasure within each of us. Yes, the Spirit who inspired this, the Spirit of the living God who lives inside of us is at work in us precious saints it's at work in us it's at work in you it's a work in me so each of us needs to ask oneself if we are inviting the holy spirit into our lives to help us to know to understand to discern the times that we are living to help us to learn and understand and live by god's truth which is through god's word and we are yielding to the spirit and the I in us removed, and it no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in us, the hope of all glory. His word lives in you. That's right. And God wants us to seek us so his word can transform us, that we can be transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit today? So rather than succumbing, to the lies that are happening all around us. We don't just want to have the truth was a subjective, which means it's based on our influence by personal feelings, tastes or opinions, but rather let's subject what we think, what we read, what we hear, what we see, what we do to the truth, the spirit of the living God. Let us Everything we do, marry up to God's word. Allow the spirit, the anointing that is living inside of you, bear witness to all truth. Stop having blinkers going around in this deceptive world, but allow those blinkers to come off and to see the world for how it really is, precious saints. So it's time for us to seek this truth. And how do we arise each day into a deeper connection with the anointing, with the Holy Spirit, well, it comes back to us. How much time do we spend with the Lord? How much time do we spend in prayer? How much time do we spend in his word? How much time do we spend understanding who Jesus was? How he ministered when he was on the earth? How God's spirit worked throughout the whole of the Bible? How he worked through the different servants? How he worked through each and every one? Are we intentional in what we do in how we want to honor the Lord? When we start to do this, our yes, we want to expose the works of darkness, but how how much do we want to know the truth that the truth may set us free precious saints are we inviting the Holy Spirit into our daily conversation to help us know the truth about Jesus as we seek to remain in him we want to remain in Christ. We want to remain in Him. We want to be transformed by Him. Whatever you are passing through today, as we are navigating through this deceptive world with deception all around you, the only truth we have is in God's Word with the help of the Holy Spirit who will lead us, who will guide us throughout all these deceptive times. Precious saints, it's time for us to press into God today and 
to know that he is the answer for us. He is the answer for us in these uncertain times. He is the answer for us when problems come. He is the answer for us when the enemy seems to be knocking at our doors. God is with us, the hope of all glory. Let us press into him today, precious saints. Let's be encouraged knowing that what he had started in us, the work he had started, he is the author, the finisher. He will finish what he started and he who has called you is faithful and he will do it. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for loving each and every one of us. We come before you today with this love that is so great. It is so great for us. Your gift of your son and sending Jesus to die for us is absolutely amazing and we thank you and we are indebted to the Lord forever. We intentionally open our hearts today to the work of the Spirit of the living God and we ask for this truth to come to the surface. Help us to know you, Jesus, more, to be completely transformed, renew our minds through the Word of God that we may know you more each and every day. Lord, our Father, today we join our hearts with the words. Lord, today, even of your servant David who said, search me, O God, and know my heart, test me and know my anxious thoughts. See, if there is any offence with inside of me and lead me into the way of everlasting. Lord, we pray today, please transform our thinking. Please transform our living by the power of the Holy Spirit today. Each person that needs that nudge, that needs that push, that needs to let go of certain relationships, that needs to transform, that needs to change, that needs to let go of that bad habit. Lord, we come to you today and we ask Almighty God, we thank you. Lord, as we think of you, as we come before you to live and we call you to live inside of us, especially your Holy Spirit, which is incredibly, Lord, uh, this undescribable the words that we know that you have given us this gift and we confess Lord that we do not know everything we do not understand all things but we know that there are times Lord that we have not dedicated ourselves to being in that place that you want us to be but we pray today please cleanse us please purify our hearts Lord that you may be glorified in our actions as we try to live for your glory Lord, I pray today for each person listening that you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Give them the grace to get through the trials and the tribulations that they might be facing today. Come and bless them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you wish. You can also uh, follow us on uh, Rumble. You can follow us on Telegram. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, this social media content is here to encourage you every day to live a pure walk for the Lord. So join in in our weekly fastings, in our monthly fastings. Everything is provided for you, for you to live a life to inspire you to be closer to the Lord in every area of life. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, Precious Saints. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.